Right, well I thought, since I'm not doing very well with Retro Challenge so far, I'd do a video, because they always go down quite well. Uh, I've got a VT520 here, and it's connected to a Dex Server 90M, which I'll show you down here. Uh, it's a little box from Deck which converts stuff on the network into serial uh, comms which the terminal talks. It's plugged in via a standard RJ45 Cat5 cable which goes straight to the back of my router at home. And basically it's, it's, it's very intelligent. It knows how to talk to the internet once it's configured. Um, so you can basically browse a sort of text-based web directly from this box without having anything else running, which is quite nice. Um, so we'll just get the connection to that. Connected up quite fast, the VT520 and the 90M support uh, 57K, uh, which makes for quite a nice experience compared to 9600. Um, this prompt here is the network access software built into the 90M. And what we can do is we can do show services from here and that shows us what's available. Now I've got I have got another box running down in the basement which is Johnny Bilquist's bridge into Hecnet which is a, a way of sharing Decknet across the internet and as we can see there are a few uh, systems available. Atom is my box downstairs which is running the bridge and well, basically what it does is it just funnels Decknet across standard TCP IP and as it happens, MIM, which is Johnny's box, is a, a PDP-11, um, which I'm kind of getting into. Uh, Colin Butcher gave me a lot of books which included a lot of PDP-11 manuals. And I have to say, it, so I found it really quite interesting. So if I connect to MIM, um, it's a bit of a bizarre prompt, but and I just learnt this by trial and error, that you know, I'm going to type the login, not log out. However, Seems to be thinking that that's login anyway. So this uh, is a, an emulated box, which I believe is configured up to look like a real box, a real machine, um, an 1145. It's running RSX, which is one of the operating systems that DEC provided. Again, I know very little about these, um, the operating systems that, that you can get, and that's something that I'm interested in as well. Um, so, there's a list of who's on at the moment. Um, it's a multi-user system, so uh, as you can see, there's a few logins there from different terminals from Johnny. And uh, to be honest, it looks very much like what I'm used to, which is VMS. If you do help, you can um, you get a list of all the commands, including layered products. Uh, I can see COBOL, COBOL language, Fortran language, basic language. Um, it's uh, just a really nice system, just uh, as you'd expect. Currently, my terminal is set to unknown, so you get this backspace behavior where it just pretends to delete stuff but doesn't. If I do show a term here, that you can see that it says term unknown, and I can set that term, if I can remember, model VT100, say, and then when I delete, it actually honors the deletes. So the other nice thing this is demonstrating is the beautiful smooth scrolling. The VT520, if I hit the setup button, you can go in and you can say um, on the display menu, various other things, but there's a scrolling mode here. Now, older terminals do slow smooth sc scrolling, which is actually quite painful. Um, just in a directory now. But the fast smooth scrolling is quite nice. Um, works quite well. It just means you can read what's going past as it's going past. Um, so, let you see it's much, much faster. And there's a, this is a guest account, so there's a lot of files on here. That's a macro 11 file. Um, there we go, something that Johnny's written. Loads of lovely uh, PDP 11 machine code, or assembly language. And uh, I think that's enough. We'll call it a day. Thanks for watching.